Hey guys, we're back here with Marvel Future Fight. It turns out I was like, I don't know, a few days late, two days late on this new 3099. You know how they used to do 2099? Well, we're two, we're like a hundred years, or actually a thousand years later. Um, in 3099 with all bunch of new 3099 characters. As you can see, there's Rescue. And I, I don't know who's there. You got Doctor Doom 3099. And we saw the Hulk Buster. Silk Summer Day limited edition character must get. But you have to buy her. So, unfortunately, Quicksilver. I mean, limited. But I don't really care. To be honest, he's there and stuff like that. But for me, I'm just like, whatever. Hulk Buster 3000. 99 most amazing looking character there and they're mostly the uh you know iron man type of characters so you got dr doom you got rescue you got hulk buster quicksilver and the other things are like i guess you could get um summer days cable right and obviously that was limited edition the problem is I don't want to spend 1000 something. I mean, come on. I mean, it's there, right? You get to get Enchantress again if you want. Uh, let's see, Quicksilver. You have to buy Quicksilver, and it's not limited either. So, you're going to have to really shell out some money. What we're going to do is we're going to look at the character. Let's start off with my most favorite character, which is Silk. And, you know, she's right here. Now, obviously, clearly... You know, I kind of guess Silk, but what can you do, right? I mean, um, there's some spinny stuff there. Let me look at the moves. This is what I want to look at. You got chain hit combo, blah, blah, blah. Ignores dodge rate. That's kind of something I like. Okay, let's see the passive guaranteed dodge rate. Yeah, that one I don't really care. Increased damage, decreased damage received. Um, guaranteed dodge rate. I mean, critical rate. Increase attack of all attack 45 percent those were both passive so let's look at this one that's the first attack there's really nothing there that's the second attack and i don't know i mean there's nothing there i mean there's webbing on both of them Okay, this one has guard. Not good. I don't like guard, to be honest. It has web, increased attack, yada yada. So far, I don't like her. She has invincible. That's something I like. Increased damage by 30%. That's pretty low. She does chill damage. All right, so that's the fourth attack, which is kind of disappointing already. So one to four is disappointing. Let's see what five is. Yeah, she got recovery. I like that. I mean, she has invincible, but I'm used to immune to all damage. I think invincible is better, but like I was saying, I think I, uh, I'm more used to immune to all damage. At least, you know, let's see how she plays. The first three attack were boring, and the fourth attack freezes the enemy. Damn, I mean, I don't even know what was happening there. Alright, so I just want to say I like my spider characters. I don't really care what happens. I mean, spider characters are the best character ever. Let's look at Doctor Doom. Now, I'm not a user of Doctor Doom. I don't even have Doctor Doom, so I don't know. It's hard to judge, right? I mean, when you don't have Doctor Doom, what can you do, right? But it costs 3,000 premium currency, which means this is a probably a freaking powerful character. I mean, no doubt about it. I mean, you just look at the price and you know what's happening. Super armor, burn damage. So first two increase damages and stuff like that. 
Second attack stuns the enemy. Third attack has nothing. Fourth attack, increased attack by 45%. Stun and paralysis. Fifth attack, 50% recovery. I guess he's there. I don't know. I mean, I don't use him. But looking at the price, you know, it can't be bad. If you ever question anything, look at the price. If it's expensive, you know... It's good. Alright, so that's the fourth attack. And this is the fifth one. Now, it's like some rock comes out of something and then hits some. It looks like it's gonna have some burn damage there. Damn, that looks like Dr. Doom's finishing move right there. No comment on that character. Obviously, I don't have Dr. Doom, man. Looking at everything, he's probably good. 25% increased recovery. And, you know, rescue. She looks... I always like rescue. I mean... So hard to judge. Okay, first attack sucks. I'm sorry. I mean, <laughs> what the hell? There's nothing there. Second attack, recovery. I like that. Guard, illusion. Oh, no. Wait, that's the third attack. There is no second attack. The fourth attack has nothing. The fourth attack has stun. Increased defense, attack, and yada yada. But I don't really care about that. I guess the fifth attack has immune. Stun, super armor. I don't know. I mean, I like... I always like rescue. So... Oh, and she got her six attack. So that's kind of good. That was pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's the third attack. Here's a fourth one. And you got the fifth attack. Alright, that's pretty cool. Now, the sixth attack, this... This is the ultimate attack. Holy shit, that is cool. I like that. I'm glad they actually worked on Rescue. I thought she was just going to be a side character and people forget about her. But I think it's worth getting her. I like her. I mean, I'm kind of biased, so what can you do? But here's the Hulkbuster, and I like the Hulkbuster. I don't care what anybody says. I mean, the Hulkbuster is probably the most amazing character here. Look at that huge shield. All right. Recovery. Ooh, when HP is below a certain percentage, it recovers. That's good. I mean, you can't complain about that. No character with auto-recovery is bad. I mean, to a certain extent, you know. Decrease all damage received by 30%. Super armor. Increase skill damage. What is this? Plus 30% increase of max HP. Oh, that's very good. So your HP is increased by 35%. First attack, stun. Nothing special there. Second attack, stun. Nothing special there. Third attack, immune to all damage. Accumulate true damage. Fracture stuns the enemy. You know, common stuff. Fourth attack, invincible. Decrease of all defense on enemy. Fifth attack... Paralysis, Fracture, Stun, deals burn damage, increase attacks and defense. I like them. These are all 3,099 characters except for Summer Days. That's the first three attack. So that's the fourth attack. The fifth attack and then you have... Rescue and Hulkbuster. I don't know what he did there, but that was a fifth attack, I believe. Yeah, that's a fifth attack. So he rushes and then does this, this thing. I don't know what you call it. Alright, 
so that's the ultimate attack. That's pretty cool. If you take him to tier three, but I don't know if I want to take the whole buster to tier three. Okay, so we got Quicksilver. So let's take a look at Quicksilver. Increased speed by 10%. Chain damage. Nor's dodge rate. That's something that's there. Paralysis. Physical damage. That's first attack. Second attack. Decrease all speed by 25. I mean 20%. Third attack. Recovery 10%. Dodge rate. Increase by 30%. Fourth attack. Stuns the enemy. So fourth attack is kind of bad. I mean they should have added more. But of course increased defense speed and yada yada is good. Oh shit. The worst one is the fifth one. What the hell? All it does is stun. Maybe maybe there's a like killer animation, but all it does is stun. That's the first, second, third, fourth. That's pretty cool. Fifth. Here's the fifth one. So here's the ultimate attack. Here we go. Alright, so that's it. I mean, if you're asking me what I want to buy, I actually like this update quite a bit. And of course, you can get uh, Summer Days Cable, which is also limited. And if you haven't gotten him, you should get him. Now, I really don't know. I mean, I don't want to buy... I want to buy all of them, but I don't have the money to buy all of them. So, I'm not going to buy all of them. But just get whatever you want to get. I mean, for me, I mean, I'm sitting here. You got the check-in event with the celebration shit. And... Yeah, I mean, they don't even give out the... Uh, the, the uh, tokens that you need, right? Which kind of stinks. I mean, they give you 10 for logging in for 7 days. So if you don't log in today, I mean, that's pretty bad. Because for me, I'm late a couple of days. And there's 8 days. And I have to log in every day for 7 days. So I got 7 out of 8 days. So, you know, there's still some time. But I'm kind of late a little. That being said... I don't think there's anything else that's new. There's probably some something, but I don't really like, you know, all these menus, right? It's so confusing. It's new, but, you know, it's kind of confusing, right? Let me pick this thing up. I did buy the pack, so that's why we got the tokens there. I bought like a $5 pack or a $6.99 anyways, plus tax is $10. But anyways... I do like this update. I'm going to debate on what I'm going to get. But 3,099 update. Hulkbuster. Rescue. Doctor Doom. And you got Silk. As well as uh, Quicksilver and Cable back also. So be sure not to miss it. Alright. So I forgot to go over actually War Machine 3,099. I mean it was hidden somewhere. But basically War Machine is here and... You know, it's not available yet. You have to wait 12 days until he arrives. So, anyways, let's look at the character. Critical damage increased by 50%. He looks like a badass character. Hard to say anything. I mean, you know, we could preview him, which is good. Decreased damage. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. 40% increase all attack. 30% increase of HP. 40% increase of all defense. Oh, I like that. First attack has nothing. I mean, it's there. It's a physical attack. Second, it has nothing. Wow, interesting. Third attack, immune to all damage. Paralysis, or I mean, paralyze. Uh, true damage or total damage. Recovery, I like that. Fourth attack has recovery and stun. I mean, recovery does a lot. What's that? 15%. Last attack, silence, invincible, increase of all attack by um, 30%. So you have already 40% increase plus 30%. Let's look at the character live. Wow, what the hell? He doesn't have a sixth attack? So he's stuck here with these five attacks. Oh, that's pretty cool. Second attack. So that's the same thing similar to the Hulk Buster. Okay, that's the third attack. Okay, 
that's some crazy stuff. Fifth attack. Proton Cannon! You know, they forgot to make an Iron Man where they're like, Proton Cannon! Alright, so anyways, I think that was the last character because it was hidden. I didn't really get to see it until the end uh, when I was roaming around taking a look at what's up. And, you know. Yeah, that's all. But anyways, I love these 3099 characters.